we go to the lights for Pro Stars. Who gets the whole shot? AJ Myers checks over to the left. He's going to get clear easily over Tim Troger down to turn number one and two, but Troger deep on the brakes on the outside. And oh my goodness, Simon, it looked like we about hit a bird. That bird was pretty close to getting hit. We have issues in the back. That's the number 223 machine of Eric Hugh. Yockel third. There's the next group of three with Daly, Rule, and Conquer. Look at this. Gavin Bailiff on the inside and clear on that black diamond Carbonado TKG machine. Great start here for Vincenzo. Oh. We see a kick of dust. Not sure what happened there. Possibly a driver dropping tires. If we see the fight raging on here just outside the top five, Xander. Yeah, here's Hewitt going on the Georgian. The Body Symmetry Eyes Up MD, uh, or Body Symmetry MD Eyes Up Racing Beer Alarda Zach Frank. He'll lose two spots as Hewitt gets through. So does Ian Quinn, and they battle further back. So great fights down the midfield and back of the field. Running him down as she is experiencing a lot of pressure from Josh Conker behind. He'll dive down the inside, won't quite get there. He tries and won't get it on any rule. Uh, Vincenzo Saracino got up to Ayrton Hernandez as there's a move from Conker into the top five for the number three. The Canuck moves his way back forward. Tim Troger trying to, uh, uh, at the same time, pressure A.J. Myers here still. Uh, he has been all race long in that bubble of four to five tenths away. Yockel trying to get to Troger. Troger trying to get to Myers. It's been kind of a game of inches at this point. Talon Yockel lurking out the back, looking for any opportunity he has to take the fight to these top two. Yeah, the game of inches as now Myers goes wide. He blows turn one and Troger finishes him off there coming out of the corner. Tried to clear himself and Myers drops two tires in the dirt. Tim Troger, your new leader. Myers back to second. A very uncharacteristic mistake out of AJ Myers. Myers now has to kind of play cleanup, maybe another lap or so, and then find seven tenths over the 207 to hunt him back down and uh, try to battle for the win as again a little bit sideways there as the rears looked like they were giving out on him a little. Bailiff closing in lap by lap like we said tried that move two laps ago couldn't quite make it stick he's a little closer than last lap by closing up to that rear bumper Annie Rule she went defensive last time will she again no he makes oh! the dive over and on top of Annie Rule and all four of them make contact. Oh man Gavin Bailiff just barely misjudged it and that was a hard impact for Annie Rule and for Gavin Bailiff. And just like that, their days are done. Gavin Bailiff nearly got bucked out of the seat when he went up and over the left rear tire of Rule. I think he might have clipped her arm a little bit. And a hard racing deal at turn number two. Collects them, collects Saraceno and Justin White kind of by association. They had to go way wide and avoid it. There will not be enough time for another. It'll be three to go, basically, for Tim Troger. He makes a little adjustment there. He starts to pull gears. And A.J. Myers, I think, has uh, realized he had no shot at catching Troger. He's going to let Talon Yockel go through and give a little more points for his teammate who's running for the championship. Tim Troger, a last-minute call just weeks prior to come and drive for the brand uh, newly formed SRP factory race team and the Marinello chassis the German driver his first trip ever to America and he's gonna have to check an extra bag going home through the final two turns Tim Troger and for the debut of the SRP factory team it is a win on debut and he is king of the castle Tim Troger wins round two of the championship